Am I represented? Am I seen? Squawk entities with recessive genes. Iraq to change consent to age to nine. Beast's best friend trans, so it's not a crime. Alan Wake 2 still can't recoup. Zao is dead, they dillic shoop the whoop. Say they won't work with sweet baby again. Gender swap lesbian, but nobody spends. Sensitive filtered, but you say mature. Downgrade and flatten because you're insecure. Dissatisfied and I'm not your dad, son. Bloober the type of team to miss with a shotgun. Layoffs, closures, wrap it up and get out. So many bars lowers, I thought you were the Girl Scouts. Censored, soft, altered, sanitized, explicit content, thoroughly compromised. Queer gender age got gender mancers. YouTube Susan dies of cancer. Kyle, why isn't your channel monetized? I'm not kid friendly like Mr. Beast guys. Jiggly mech girl curves runneth over. Nikkei and Ava do a crossover. Is this inclusive or am I mean? Girl, shake them titties in front of that screen. Looks like sweet baby means loss of revenue. Tell your favorite Hebrew that he hallucinate too. Dried up capital make the bitch shiver. Since you're all takers, Kyle's the giver. Hello, beta testers. Like and subscribe to join over a hundred thousand subscribers. Comment or correct me below because they're begging you now. They're begging you, beta tester, to give them a chance to turn your brain off and just watch it for what it is. They'll be more selective next time. SBI associated devs say they wouldn't work with Sweet Baby Inc. again. Alan Wake 2 still not profitable despite a literal song and dance at the 2023 Video Game Awards. They shoveled it into your mouth the same way they tried with Deathloop all those years back. And do you hear anyone mention that game anymore? It didn't work again. Jeff Keighley's VGA show had a three minute guilt trip from an actor who formerly worked for Sweet Baby as far back as their previous incarnation, Sucre Bebe. But that didn't work either. Zhao face planted. And of course, it's about race. Sorry. No, it's not. The zombie studio wearing Rocksteady's name lost Warner Brothers $200 million, resulting in a devastating 41% revenue loss that has Warner Brothers desperately trying to sell its games. The games journalists who demanded boycotts and celebrated actual review bombing Hogwarts Legacy in between continued campaigns to divide other and dismiss people for simply being cisgender the word that they created to describe what these people are born as what they can't change with all your power government backing shills moderators pussies people to hide filtered shadow ban you had it all on your side but you couldn't stop Hogwarts Legacy from being the best-selling game of 2023. How do you think people think of you now? How do the game journals look, beta testers? Stellar Blade exists, and these radical, politically correct activists raise fake controversy to hurt the game. Remember what Digital Foundry's Alex said? How it's unappealing and a product of a bygone era. Grub sucking Kotaku's dick is saying it's a lotion game. How dismissive. What a prick. Irrelevant. We love it and shift up CEOs a billionaire now. Thanks to Nikkei and Stellar Blade pleasing the crowd. Despite journalist accusations that it's harming women coming from IGN France's Ben Osolo and the insane Erwan La Floriel EIC. But now that you've seen the Paris Olympics with men in drag with their testicles exposed around younglings, you understand quite well the hypocrisy that these pussies that would cheer on that kind of behavior harbor. Outrage forces that footage off of the internet. Their ritual no longer available for you to even look at. But the people that celebrate it, they harbor exclusive hatred for straight appeal between a man and a woman, adults respectively, what they refer to as heteronormative. What a cult. 
they'll cheer for bare sex before they allow even a digital woman to be pretty. But if you pay attention, none of them want to talk about First Ascendant, they don't want to talk about Mecha Break, they wouldn't talk about anything that everybody was playing if another Pal World dropped right now because that's not how they get down. What they want to talk about is Concord. So they're going to try to drag that into the discussion with any other game that they talk about just to kind of piggyback. It's really pathetic at this point. Mecha Break, by the way, is free on Steam in open beta for anybody who wants to give that a try. You know, my computer can't kind of run it too well, so I'm hoping it comes to console and we get something going on. What I warn Jeff Keighley if this reaches his ears of is what games journals must realize of themselves. They They've reached a point where whatever they do like, most people would probably hate. So they indicate or signal with what they recommend, what the fuck we typically need to steer clear of, or in some cases like mine, dig a little deeper into to see what the hell's really going on. Capcom's remaking old games because that's what people want, but they can't help themselves ruining it, removing risque picture taking for a reporter? because the activists and their modern day sensitivities need to appeal to the modern audience and establish the new normal. Blood and gore is okay, but sexuality, specifically the ability for a woman to look good is forbidden. So even if it would make the man look bad, because the context in Silent Hill is that this is his fantasy version, the dedication to denying the male gaze from these pussy activists instead of just remaking a game that they had nothing to do with, has them making fiscally irresponsible decisions that tanks fucking sales because they're too stupid and woke to take the slam dunk of making a man look bad. Losing your fucking mind in a capacity that honestly should result in you losing your job is nothing we're ever gonna fucking feel sorry about, let alone be deciding to give you a $70 chance, bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? Even if she had to breathe through her skin, it wouldn't make sense for her to be in a bikini to you fucking wankers, dude. This shit ain't for you. That's why you hate it so much. You're brain dead. And what's crazy is YouTubers can woke better than you. They can rage bait better than you. They can write better than you. They're more charming, charismatic, and they're certainly better looking. Some of them, you know, why would they even stoop to this level? And the same reason that has you doing this instead of actually writing because you're not good enough at that. So you slid in where you could get in and the grift was never meant to last forever. I believe in your intelligence enough to have understood the writing on the wall even if you were pretending you can't. So, man up here in speedo, loincloth, glistening, jacked, past the point of fucking human steroids, nigga, this is horse shit at this point, but a woman gotta be armored up because she's weak, and if she's wearing too little, it's objectification. You'd rather her in some sort of a job, right? Imagine if we took the ability for you to use blurring or pretty girl look like a woman TikTok and Instagram filters, man. I have only ever known gaming to be a welcoming outlet, an escape for people and by people who prioritize fun experiences for people to enjoy regardless of status or persuasion. The subhuman saboteurs who infiltrated my industry are not the first attackers to assume a villain role, backed by the government to invalidate muddy sentiment or outright destroy gaming, and you won't be the last. Identity politics injected into art that compromises the purpose, weighs down the experience, and unintentionally repulses with transparent inauthenticity is the wobbly shopping cart wheel that I refer to as woke. And for a decade, it's filled narcissists' minds with confidence enough to think that their brain-damaged alterations were in any way preferred or even palatable. Woke has a way of effortlessly crafting the worst incarnation of anything. Noteworthy in and of itself, there's no denying, but only in an art of laziness or Jesus Christ, like get this away from me, gross out humor kind of way. Woke so lazy that gender swaps, race swaps, hollow pandering, proud defiance of the source material, ignorance, again proud, Pride is kind of like a theme with you guys. Deliberately casting or developing ugly with the intent of challenging beauty standards. Fattening and flattening women in media because big boobs bad, male gaze bad. You know, I shouldn't have to be responsible for smiling 
and telling lies to reinforce the foolishness and hypocrisy of the identity obsessed who can't see past themselves. Kids these days know being gaslit very well, and the terminology they abuse rivals black people's necessity to slang they way ahead of the competition to avoid the censorship game that you pussies like to play with us, you know? Assholes like Garm shutting down the instant they were targeted for suit by Elon Musk is so telling. But again, I know my audience and I'm self-aware enough not to alienate people by bringing them down by talking about shit that I normally don't talk around around here. And that self-awareness is what separates us from people like you who we are repulsed by because we have to share this internet space with you tourists that we're just waiting for you to become less profitable and therefore non-existent we wouldn't need to make money to stick around here because we into this shit nigga we're not the tourists the agencies that boost the message that they want heard and throttle what they don't want have been recognizing people like Mr. Beast and Google is now being recognized for their stranglehold a, a monopoly as they're calling it in court and we don't deal in the types of people who have to say they're a good person out loud to try and prove it the type of person who needs to announce that they donated to a charity are you gonna tell us the amount to Hilarious. A Mortal Kombat without tits is like a GTA without cars. Of course some pussy G-man bleeding heart's gonna be losing his mind crying, won't someone please think of the polygons, but they're not real. And it's hilarious how hypocritical the beliefs are when the scantily clad men in bare sex are fine, but it's pretty women that's instantly X-rated. And how dare you shoot those polygons in this game where you, you're, you, you, Grand Theft, you, it's like it's named after a felony, you fuck. You've seen it all now, beta tester. How do people without style execute all style and no substance projects? They don't. Their best way to achieve any attention is outrage, so they engineer deliberately ignorant fires in space to coin a little bit of acolyte and creatively bankrupt what if this but everyone's a woman garbage that they could barely survive a runtime of a SNL skit with, let alone a TV show, game, or movie. Especially when cast by untalented, deliberately repulsive gender entities, not unlike the cutaway from American Dad where she's like, scared of what a real woman looks like? Attractive women is a hurdle too intense for these woke activists to clear. Of course they're ruining everything that they're touching. When we reestablish the edge that puts smiles back on nation's faces to recharge batteries in between the suffering, please remember me and include my voice. I'm secure enough as a man to let you know I get emotional just thinking about old GTA's radio stations and how they really carried me out of rough times. To think that new incarnations won't be able to have wit, the bite, or passion of these old stations. Can, is GTA thinking to afford a Ricky Gervais again? And it's not because it can't exist with how exposed the nerves of some of the pussies are today. It's that they're not willing to take the risk. I know everything big goes to shit. I keep saying it on stream, but... You know, they got rid of the alternatives too. Saints Row Reboot is done. We need to do something now. We Am I going to be waiting until AI catches up to speak these games into existence? I keep getting bribed and asked what I want. And it's too late for all of that. And I'm not important. I'm just a messenger. And I keep telling everybody, you know, they don't owe you anything. They never did. I want to follow this to its natural conclusion. I'm disgusted. I keep coming across that clip of Captain America finally lifting the hammer. And Woke would make it so everybody can lift that hammer to feel included. In which case worthy becomes meaningless. And with such logic, the reaction that you always hear when people play that clip in some theaters, it cannot happen. Critique of a kid-obsessed groomer has YouTube cracking down on me. Sometimes it just feels like the smartest thing I can do is be quiet. So naturally, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.